The most distinguished jewel from the reign of King George IV, the diamond diadem was designed by Rundell Bridge and Rundell in 1820 for King George IV for his coronation day. He wore it under his large Spanish hat, making it completely invisible on the historic day. The original cost of the jewel was supposed to be 290 for the design and 800 for the hired diamond. As per the customs of that time, the diamonds were hired rather than purchase, and were supposed to go back to the designer, but George Ivey's coronation was delayed because of Queen Caroline's trial and George ended up handing over personal diamonds from his collection to cover the diadem cost of 8, 216. The diamond diadem is set in silver and gold with 1,333 brilliant cut diamonds and consists of a band as a base featuring two rows of pearls either side of a row of diamonds. Above which are four crosses bati. The front cross is set with a four-carat pale yellow brilliant and four sprays representing the national emblems of England, Ireland and Scotland, roses, shamrocks and thistles. In 1830, Queen Adelaide was the first female to wear the piece designed for a king and since then the diadem has been worn by queens only. The diadem went through small alterations during the reigns of Queen Victoria, Queen Alexandra and Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother. Queen Victoria was famously depicted on the black penny stamp wearing the diamond diadem. Queen Elizabeth II debuted the stunning piece in November 1952 at the first state opening of Parliament of her reign and then on her way to Westminster Abbey in 1953 for her coronation. The piece became the staple jewel of the state opening for the Queen throughout her reign as well as on iconic photographs that were used for British and Commonwealth coinage, banknotes and postage stamps.